Okay. Let's get everything up and running. Welcome to another video of uh, well, myself. And uh, today we are going to talk about how to pick your necro runes. Which is, I oh don't know, lovely. So, um, we are going to start with destroy runes because they are useless. So, what you want to do with destroy runes? Some general info about them. Let's just pop this up. Uh, what they do is they just destroy the, the opponent's HP by 30% of the damage dealt. That means that they, effect, they reduce the effective HP that the monster has. So if the monster has, let's say, 10,000 HP, if you hit them with 10,000 damage, it's going to make them have 7,000 HP. Pretty much. I don't know if my math is correct. Essentially, that's what it is, right? It just reduces the HP. It does not work with multi-hits. Not each multi-hit does its hit does not further decrease uh, um, the effective HP. What I uh, and that, the only multi-hit I've tested this with was Julie, though. So I don't know if it's like uh, despair, where for example on Charlotte on monsters that have uh, a separate debuff or or a debuff in each attack that they do, despair has three chances to proc. Whereas in multi-hits like Julie's, where it's just damage, it doesn't have multiple chances chances to proc. So I don't know if destroy works that like that as well. I haven't tested it, but it still sucks even if it does. So um the only use for them is pretty much broken sets or used on monsters like uh Dark or Sigmaris, you know if you use them in giant in giants or dragons only where you don't care what set you put them on just and just that they do damage. So you put your best DBS runes on them. That's about it. So let's go for uh, let's go on the one three five slots. Um, you essentially want good broken set stats. So you go for speed. You know for your Bernards, etc. Out there, you see I've kept this one. It has speed. This one has potential for eighteen speed. Plus, it's easy to get grindstones for this because You won't really use them. Look, I have a lot. I've used a lot of my grindstones. I still have like speed ones here. Um, you know. I just keep everything with speed on destroy on 135 and if they have like super duper crit stats for example like this one like this one didn't have crit but it had good speed and HP and attack and then I put crit in or this one like speed with huge crit rate and attack sub so you know it worked all right so I use these on sig but I'll change them because I don't really like my sig right now but for example yeah sig is a, a, an idea like I think I have another destroy rune on Tark. yep so this one as well, see, it has damage, huge attack, and then I put in speed. So remember for uh, for destroy runes, it's pretty possible because you won't have really a competition, you know, for their uh, gems if you're raiding. Uh, this will help, you know, you can make some pretty perfect runes and put them as broken sets on your monsters out of a world boss or for, you know, actual PvP and PvE. Um, for 135... On uh, for two four six, uh, you keep on on slot two. Oh, you pretty much keep everything that has good subs, right? It doesn't matter like if it's an HP defense attack or speed rune on a slot two, or if it's crit rate for damage. It's around slot uh, four. Well, I wouldn't keep resistance. I wouldn't keep accuracy destroy. All the rest I would keep from two four six, depending on subs. You can be very picky with destroy runes. Remember that you will most probably use them as broken sets, so. Don't worry about you know keeping each and every one so that you have potential to you know swap runes around and stuff. Just keep the very very good ones. I don't know like destroy runes might have a use later on in live PvP to you know keep matches from dragging on too much etc etc. Et but you know if you're picky with them now, you'll still get enough good ones that you will be able to put on your monsters in live PvP if that's what you're scared about. So. Just be very picky with destroy. Now, let's see. Uh, the next one we'll talk about is let's go from the top. Yeah, rage. Rage is uh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty pretty good set. Many people say it's the best DPS set. Other people say the Fatal is the best. Honestly, just comparing DPS in a turn-based game, I think is very dumb. I know it's one of the only metrics we have, but 
who cares how much damage per second you stand to do? It's we're not measuring damage per second. With essentially, you're essentially measuring damage per turn. Who cares how much damage, how much DPS the equation turns out to do? I don't know. It sound, it seems dumb. I I prefer rage to fatal because I have better rage runes. <laughs> Obviously, another like the other very good DPS option is just uh, triple sets or triple broken sets, etc. Or double broken, uh, double set and broken, whatever you know, whatever works for you, right? But rage runes are very strong. They are very reliable. It's a forty percent damage increase. It's very nice. Uh, you'll see. I have them on. Both my AO nukers, Rage Will on both of them. So, let's go with 135 first. 135 on Rage. You want crit rate on all three of those. Definitely crit rate. Like, if a Rage Rune does not have crit rate, I rarely keep it. And, uh, if it doesn't have, uh, if it has attack and speed, all the better. You know, standard DPS stuff, but I really want to still say it that if it doesn't have crit rate, you should really, unless it's sixth or in legendary or something, or epic at least, and has like the other stats, you should consider setting it. Because you can't really, like, you can gem crit rate, but not high amounts. So it's not the most amazing thing to gem. So, yeah, 135, you'll notice. Look at this 9 crit rate, 15 crit rate, 15 crit rate. This is pretty much, this rune is the epitome of what you want in your slot 1, for example. In your slot 3, this rune is pretty much the epitome, if I could get a higher crit rate roll, you know, with my gem. Uh, this is not the epitome of what you want. You want crit rate on this rune as well, but you see it has huge speed, which initially drew me to it. And then I just put in attack instead of crit rate, because I use Charlotte leader, so crit rate is a slightly lower priority for me. But, you know, it's still something you do look for in most of your runes. This was an epic rune I think anyway, so it makes sense it sort of makes sense that uh you know I didn't uh come on. Uh I didn't sell it even though it had didn't have any crit rate. So that's pretty much it for the one three fives. Yeah see this one has lots of speed. Uh so yeah um that's for the one three fives now 246 is for rage. You definitely, definitely, definitely keep the speed and attack ones. Definitely. Like, almost no matter the subs, especially if you're lacking in the beginning. But later on, you'll start caring about the subs. Like, this one, I don't know why I've kept it up. Probably sell it. I'll see what it rolls on 12 and just sell it. See, like, uh, no, this is defense. Wait, what? It's a world boss room that escaped me. See, this one has crit damage. It's an attack room with crit damage. It's not bad, but. The reason why it's in the inventory is because I have better ones, obviously, that have crit rate and stuff. Like, I don't know, this one. Or uh, this one on slot 6, for example. You see, I really value crit rate. I really value crit damage. Um, so, for 2 and 6, you wouldn't keep anything other than speed and attack for 2 and uh, uh, attack for 6. Now, for the more... Uh, niche monsters like uh, Copper, Roid, you'll see here, he's about, he's gonna get 6 star, he has Rage, uh, Escher, um, got Copper, uh, Bulldozer if you want, you know, all those uh, nukers that are based off defense or HP, that's why you can be a bit pickier with the HP and defense 2 and 6 slots uh, on Rage, uh, but so you know, keep the ones that actually have some relevant stats like this one for example it has some uh, a decent crit rate roll i know it's only six but it has speed uh this one has lots of speed for example as well so you know you keep the you can be a bit pickier with your hp and defense for your coppers and your bulldozers and your roids and whatever you're running or you know wanna run or escher i don't have escher mm. now for slot four I would, in late game, if we're talking late game, since this is this is a late game series, I, I might make an early game one as well, but this is a late game series. For late game, I would not keep Rage crit rate runes for slot 4. I think it's, they're very, um, I don't know, they're quite useless, like, 
I, I don't like having to rely on a crit rate rune to get my... It's just so, 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 so not worth it if you're running a rage set which gives you 40%. You, you want that with a rage set and a max 6 star crit damage rune, you have 170 crit damage base. You know, it's 80 and 40 and 50 base. Boom, 170 base crit damage. I mean, that's way too good to pass up. So, yeah, crit damage, pretty much it. Uh, yeah. It's a weird song. Whatever. Um... These are the stats you want pretty much, but without accuracy and with crit rate, let's uh, I think I have better ones. Uh yeah, this is one idea. Like you could you want something like this or uh, something like this, but with speed, this one needs a speed gem. But you know, you want you, in general you want crit rate, attack and speed on a perfect uh rage crit damage rune. Um the thing is that's pretty much the only slot for you would keep for Rage. Maybe you'd keep HP and Defense ones for, again, Copper, Escher, etc, etc. If you don't care that much about crit damage and you still can do decent damage and you just want to get the extra Defense for Copper, for example, to make sure that you uh, go over the... Uh, you know, go over the, the half the requirement that Copper needs to ignore Defense, etc, etc. But still, like, I would say I'd keep... Out of the like, if I got uh, an HP or defense or attack or crit rate um, slot four rage rune, I would probably keep only the ones. If it wasn't crit damage, I would only keep the ones that are uh, you know like extremely good, like super duper stats. So yeah, that's about it for rage as well. Any questions as usual, point them at the comments. Now, the next set that you get from Necro is Vampire. Vampire is great. Vampire is a great set. It's actually a great set for farming Necro, so that you run as, as YOLO as possible with like Vampire Revenge and Triple Revenge uh, stuff, and you only go one healer or zero healers. Like a, maybe you could do that with an off healer like Lanette. Vampire in general, also pretty good in Guild Wars, very good in some for some specific monsters like Trevor, Leo, uh, Ramagos, etc. Um, yeah, that's about it for their uses. But in general, like they work well with a lot of monsters, and they've been, they've always been sort of decent. But I think it's very good. Like Barry, what Baron said struck me as very correct. Ones like I like to put. He likes. He said I like to put the on my farming teams, the monsters, that the, the runes that they actually are farming so that they keep upgrading themselves. So that's why he's running like a quadruple vampire necro team. I like that idea. I don't completely go with it, but you know, it's uh, it's an interesting idea and I just like, I, like, I do like vampires as a set in general. That said, you can be quite picky with vampire runes because they're not that widely used. Uh, the ba the mainly DPS oriented, except in cases like I don't know, maybe Light Dragon or uh, Ramagos. The rest are pretty much, I would say, DPS oriented. Uh, so let's start with the one three fives, shall we? One three fives, you would keep six star ones, except if they're five star ones like this one. <laughs> Other than that, you would keep six star ones. Uh, wow, this rune is interesting. Let's power it up while we talk. You would keep uh, 135s with definitely with speed. Like, I don't usually keep Vampire without speed unless it has like crazy other stats, like a legendary with like crit break, crit damage, attack, and HP. And then I have a choice to jam speed in if I speed in if I want. Um, what else? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep anything that doesn't have speed. I, I wouldn't really keep blue ones unless they have like speed and crit rate or uh, speed and HP for Ramagos. If you're just starting to farm vampire runes, if you've never had them before, I would focus on grinding a set for Ramagos. He can be very, very, very helpful in Guild Wars. He's very good on vampire and if you run him like, with like Delphoi to cleanse his debuffs and stuff, it will help immensely and it will 
it's a fun monster to use. So I highly recommend keeping 135s, vampire ones with high HP, uh, or as high HP as you can get to make a vampire goss. Um, other than that, you want standard DPS stats, right? Uh, so you pretty much keep everything as long as they ha don't have too many flats. It's pretty much it for, uh, for uh, 135 Vampire Runes. They're very diverse. They go on many monsters, but it's mostly a few HP-based monsters and uh, DPSers. So guide your uh, your rune keeping uh, to towards you know that that uh, area. Don't keep five star ones. Not really. They're not that worth it. Uh, at least in 135. You know, that's about that's about it. Uh, for two four six now, mm, for two, definitely. Sorry, oh, we got speed. Definitely keep um, the the attack HP, uh, the attack and HP ones for DPSers and Ramagos, or you know Zareth, whatever you guys have. Uh, speed ones are always interesting because you can uh, end one three fives ones that we said before, but speed ones as well can be even though they're not there aren't many monsters that run vampire and speed on slot two. Uh, it can always be a very good uh, offset rune, you know, a broken set rune. And since you farm necro, your know, vampire drops a lot, so you have a pretty high chance of getting some six star vampire uh, speed runes. If you get any good ones, keep them. I would focus more on defense, maybe for Copper or Bulldozer. HP for Ramagos, Zerath, uh, I don't know, whatever else you might run. And uh, attack for like Trevor, uh, Leo, Faye, you know, things like that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, up. that's it for two slot. Now for four slot, definitely keep everything. Like crit damage vampire, great for DPSers and offset. I use some offset vampire runes myself, crit damage ones, and great for copper as well. For example, uh, crit rate, very good for reliable PVE, which you might use in necro. So reliable crit critting is nice, and raids as well. Forget about vampire and raids. That's also a very good self healing tool. Uh, but yeah, back to the topic. Um, Crit rate also good for vampire. Keep ones that for both crit rate and crit damage. Try to keep ones that have the opposite stats. So crit damage that has crit rate and crit rate that has crit damage, and then add to that speed and attack as the other stats. The rest is just eh. if you're looking for raid runes, you could go with uh, oh one on each. Okay, this is not too bad. Uh, depending on raid runes, you could go. Uh, with more, if you want, like HP and defense subs, but that's your own choice. Like, uh, you know, you should be able to make your own choices as well. Um, what else? For uh, attack, defense, and HP, vampire four slots. I wouldn't keep attack ones. I really wouldn't. Uh, HP, Ramagos. I would keep it. Uh, nothing much. Not not much else really though. So, yeah, if you get. If you get a very mediocre one, I wouldn't like jump upon keeping it. Uh, defense, again, if you're not running crit damage on copper or bulldozer, maybe, but eh, only if you get a really, really good one, and you kind of want to see what, how it it turns out and stuff. Uh, slot six, pretty much the same as slot two, just without the speed rant. The rest is the same. Uh, I wouldn't keep resistance, I wouldn't keep accuracy, unless they have like crazy speed and you give them to Bernard or something. So that's about it. Uh, oh wow, I'm pretty poor now. <laughs> Didn't realize. This room turned out pretty meh. Okay, so, that's it with Vampire. Let's go over to Nemesis, one of my favorite rune sets in the game. I farmed, I had a lot of them before even Necro came out, I was keeping them from dragons, but now it's a Necro, you should farm them. I love Nemesis. Uh, they are probably the best set for uh, self-healing bruisers, like uh, um, Chao, Camila, etc. They are a very, very, very good set for countering the current cleave meta, 
even on those single, not just the Nemesis Nemesis will combo, but even Violent Nemesis, if you can get high speeds and good HP, are very good uh, options. Uh, I think it's probably the best set on Beast Monks as well, despite people wanting to run Revenge on them. I think it's the best set for Beast Monks, and I like I like Beast Monks speedy and on Nemesis, so that they actually interrupt and have a chance to kill the offending combo. Uh, then, and I also like it more. I also like Nemesis more than Revenge because it's more reliable. Uh, yeah, Revenge has a chance, but Nemesis is going to happen every fucking time. And that's, uh, I like that. I like reliability. Though, you know, Revenge can fuck you up way more than Nemesis can, from, you know, in a scale of 1 to 10. A double Revenge will be very, very, very annoying. Whereas Nemesis, you might be able to get out of, you know. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it for the uses. One small, uh, one little thing. Don't put Nemesis on raid monsters, don't prioritize it. Like, if you can and you want to, and that those are the best runes you can put on those slots, do it. But Nemesis in raids is very, very, very misunderstood. It's not a good set for raids. Why? Because if you are in a proper raid group, there's going to be an attack breakup, there's going to be glancing debuff up. That doesn't constitute much damage. It doesn't amount to a lot. So Nemesis runes are most likely not going to proc. The only place where they usually proc, they might proc on DPSs who have Nemesis runes, but then I would rather put like Endure or Guard uh, sets on my DPSs so that, and just get speed through their stats instead of trying to get, cheat some speed out of Nemesis because that way more, they have more survivability. So like Endure, Guard, Energy, that's the set, those are the sets that I prefer on my DPSs or even Revenge if they are like Hua and you can have that super useful revenging proc. Now, that's enough with the Nemesis set. Let's go into the uh, the 135s. So, 135 Nemesis. Uh, there are, like, contrary to popular belief, there are not many Nemesis DPSers. So you shouldn't focus too much on uh, these stats that you see right here, like speed and crit rate and stuff. They're not that important. Don't bother with them. Um, Speed is probably the most interesting stat for Nemesis. You really want it. Like you'll notice, I have speed on a lot of them. You'll notice my, let's see, my Veramos. He has 237 on Nemesis. See? Speed everywhere. Defense HP, speed everywhere. Everywhere speed is good. Um, you can be a bit, you know, uh, tunnel visioned with Nemesis runes. You can go for that speed really hard and then. You know, hope for some HP and defense rolls on the way. The the mo like the only monsters that you really want DPS Nemesis runes for are like Chao, Camila. You know, maybe maybe a monkey, but uh, not really. You know, you you kind of want you kind of want speedy tanky runes. So for one three fives, focus on speed, HP, and defense. If you if you happen to get, like, and don't keep. 5 star DPS Nemesis runes for the most part unless they're like legendary so for example to prove my own point this rune is a 5 star D Nemesis DPS rune but it was a legendary rune so that's why this happened but I wouldn't keep uh, any 6 star Nemesis DPS runes um, unless they're legendary any 5 star I would keep the 6 star ones if they had good stats like crit Crit rate, you know, the usual DPS ones, crit rate, attack, crit damage, etc. And then I would focus, even 5 star or 6 star, keep the 5 star good uh, tanky nemesis runes. Speed, HP, and defense. Focus on those. Maybe some resistance here and there for rate, for Jasun, you know, and stuff. Uh, but that's about it for 135. Remember, you can't get defense on uh, slot 1. So don't, you know, hunt for it or anything. Now, for slot 2, 4, and 6, uh, you mostly want the speed runes and those HP runes, maybe. You know, like this one. Oh man, this rune. So sad. Anyway. Uh, speed nemesis, nemesis speed runes are quite nice. You want them with, again, HP and defense subs. They will help a lot. 
Remember, also, flat HP subs are pretty good on Nemesis runes. They're a pretty good option. So, if it's a tanky Nemesis rune and it has, like, resistance on its uh, prefix and then speed HP, defense, and flat HP, that's a pretty amazing Nemesis rune. So, don't be sad if you get flat HP on your Nemesis. Um, so... Attack H attack is mo attack slot two is mostly for uh, and on slot six is mostly for like Camila and Chao as we said. Other than that, a pretty good offset rune like you know this one. Like, it's pretty much a broken like this. He has Nemesis because I like to see the Nemesis, but it's pretty much for this rune. Uh, this is this used to be on Chao before he got on HP damage HP uh, attack. Uh, HP on slot two. And defense on slot 2 are slightly more used, especially if you have a high speed HP slot 2, you can put it on soon. Like I have this on Ramagos, but it doesn't have that high speed. If it had a higher speed, I would put it on soon and go H triple HP soon, maybe. Um, but yeah, like HP and defense, especially HP slot 2 Nemesis, if it has speed, like try to get speed subsets on it. That's about it. And uh, respectively on speed uh, slot 2 nemesis runes try to get HP and perhaps defense uh, keep 5 stars either way they're good, they're just fine and let's go to 4 star to 4 slot now nemesis crit rate only if it has crazy stats I would not keep it for any other way nemesis crit damage keep them, they're very good for uh, offset runes as Pretty much all runes in that scenario, and they're very good for Chao, Camila, and maybe some Ray DPS. Or if you really want to put Nemesis on them, and you have the stats to support a Nemesis set, so yeah, Nemesis crit damage again. You know the usual crit damage: that speed, crit rate, attack. Uh, if you, yeah, oh yeah, sorry, sorry. So HP and defense now for slot four, especially HP again. There's only a million monsters that can use them, like Ramagos, Tassoon, Bella, Molly if you don't want her on Will, Veromos, uh, I don't know, I can keep going. So Nemesis, slot 4, you want them with uh, as much HP, as, uh, as much speed as possible. Like this one, unfortunately, for example, Ra only got, only got like one, no. Yeah, it was, I think it was epic, yeah, I got only one roll into speed and two in defense i think i forget maybe it went one and one i forget but yeah i've kept it but as you see i haven't put it anywhere because it just has slightly lower speed than most of my slot four runes so yeah it hasn't gone anywhere yet or ever so yeah but that's what you want you want speed on slot four for hp and defense runes you want you won't find that as much of market for uh Defense slot 4 nemesis, but you'll definitely find some for HP, so do keep them. Remember, for, for a lot of TOA floors, nemesis uh, speed on, uh, ha, defense on uh, Veromos is very good, so you might want to keep a nemesis defense rune with good subs around for, to put on your Veromos if you want help with TOA. Uh, now, slot 6 nemesis. Keep the attack for uh, nukers, as we said before. HP is pretty much same issues as slot 4. Uh, you keep them for you to soon, your uh, Veromos, etc. Et uh, accuracy? Uh, no. Unless it has crazy speed. Not really. Resistance? No. Just don't. Unless it has crazy speed again. You want it for a broken set. Don't keep it. HP, defense, and attack? Yeah, pretty much the same as before as slot 4. So, yeah. That's about it for Nemesis runes as well. Now let's go to the final set that we're going to talk about for uh, Necro, which is none other than the most popular PvP set in the game and the main reason you should farm Necro for Will runes. What they do is they provide one turn on of immunity at the start of the game. If you have two, they will provide two turns of immunity. If you have three, guess what? They provide six turns of immunity. You believe that for a second, didn't you? So yeah, slow one, three, and five. <clears throat> Will runes is one of the premier sets that you like. Besides violent, it's the only other set that I 
really don't mind keeping 5 star runes of any slot if they have decent stats. Uh, I don't even think about it, I just insta keep them. Uh, because you need you can need so many different stats on slot on uh, will runes like you you, you can use, you use them on dps's you use them on supports you use them for defensive monsters you keep, you use them for offensive monsters so yeah you'll see like my tiana has will but also my lucian has will my tesser has will my charlotte has will but also uh i don't know my uh molly has will a defensive monster so i put will on a lot of stuff uh, either for defensive or offensive purposes. And, uh, yeah, it really, really helps. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Like, my Orion is will as well. So I, I make up for my slow Orion. He's like 271 on Swift. For my level, that's a pretty crappy Orion. But I make up for it because he has will, right? He's, he might get outsped, but he will not get, you know, completely destroyed. He might, he has a high chance of getting his turn, well, uh, uh, if there's no buff removal, but I don't think there's a Tiana faster than my Orion. I mean, honestly, how fast can you be? Like the fast Tianas, I think, are like 260 something. Unless speed lead, but you know, there's a there's many unlesses in this. So this is a it's a good set to make up for your sort of lack of speed. Will is um, it's very good on supports, obviously. So the tanky supports, especially because you want them to get their turn, even if they're outsped or whatever. Uh, but it's also good for AO purposes so that you let the opponent get a turn and then you... It's your turn to kill them all. So, 1, 3, and 5 for Will. As we said, keep all the... Keep all the... Um, the 5 stars and the 6 stars. And aim for speed. Speed is the premier stat for Will's runes, whether they are offensive, defensive, neutral... Uh, lawful evil, uh, neutral, good, you know, whatever alignment. <laughs> Oops, I think I messed up my games there. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you want every single uh, war rune to have good speed, unless it has good other stats. Like this one has crit rate. You know, some of these runes might, might never see use for me, for me, but I still keep them around for, you know, maybe, or maybe. These are like these two, for example, are two of the first runes to go if I have a clean if I have a need to clean up. Uh, this one will not go, for example, because it has one more upgrade, and then I can replace accuracy with speed at some point, and that's a crazy good rune. Anyway, uh, so one, three, five runes. Mainly, speed is your is your uh, most important element. And then you can, you know, uh, crit rate is always good, crit damage always good, attack always good, HP and defense always good, flat stats can be good, doesn't matter. What you mainly want is those, uh, are those, th that speed, and perhaps crit, ra crit rate and attack subs for your DPSs if you want to put them on will, or HP and defense for your supports if you want to put them on will. But speed, 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 and more speed, that's what you want in your 135s. Um, let's go over to the 246s. Uh, again, 5 stars all around, absolutely fine. No one will blame you, except YDCB, but... Uh, so, so let's, start, let's start with speed will. Uh, I have lots of them, I think. Not, they're all in use, <laughs> wow. So yeah, this one for example. This is a defensive speed will rune. I have two very good examples of the di the different will speed runes you might want to keep. So this one, it had like some sort of DPS stat instead of the HP. Now it has HP, so now that's a pretty good... Uh, it has a 3% roll on the grindstone, unfortunately. But it will still be a pretty good support uh, will rune for in the future. Um, and then the other example is... This one, a pure DPS rune. I put crit rate on it, and it has huge attack. So that's a, a DPS rune you would put on a Theomars. On, uh, well, it is on my Theomars. You might put it, I don't know, on uh, a Galleon even. On uh, anything you might want to put in your Guild Wars defense usually, and have it be DPS-y. You, know. uh, you might even put it on a Velmos. I wouldn't suggest it. Anyway. 
So this is one rune. This is one way to get... These are the speed runes, the will speed runes that you mostly want. Uh, I thought my Galleon has one. Yeah, see, this is a sort of... This is a sort of hybrid one. Like, it has good crit rate, but it also has tanky stats. So pretty good. And I do want them on my PvP Galleon. Now, attack, HP, and def defense will... Uh, I would place very high uh, priority on attack and HP, slot 2 will as well. Uh, attack, the attack ones, because it's will sets and you get generally want them for uh, AOs, for sp speedy, speed clear AOs, I would go, I would really think that on, on attack, on attack uh, will uh, runes on 2 and 6 slot, you want speed on them. You do want crit, you do want crit damage. But you really want speed as well, so that's that's what I would keep. Be the be the rune uh, five star or six star, right? Doesn't matter. Just get speed, crit rate, crit damage, speed, crit rate only. Doesn't matter, but definitely get speed. Uh, for HP runes, also uh, you would be surprised. A lot of monsters use will HP on slot two, especially if you want to trap people in rush hour arena, etc., etc. For example, my Jubel has this rune in slot 2, my Galleon has this rune in slot 2, my Molly has this rune in slot 2. So you see a lot of HP slot 2 runes are in use, and they are very good. Like, you should really consider, but you can even put Will on your Ramagos if you want to get that what first turn safety, you know. Again, you want speed on it, but... It's not as important, I think. I think on a will HP rune, you, the most important thing you want is defense. You know, to add that extra oomph in defensiveness. Uh, attack, we talked about a defense. I don't know, like, the only probably monsters that you would really put will and defense on are defense-based monsters, like uh, uh, Copper. Maybe you should put him on will or uh, Bulldozer. Yeah, see, Bulldozer has a defense rune here. Uh, on monsters like that, I would go with uh, crit rate on their slot too. Like I think this one, yeah, it has some crit rate. Unfortunately, nothing went into crit rate for this. It went on to HP. It's all good though. I'll survive. But yeah, um, we'll we'll H defense runes mostly for DPSers based on defense. So make sure you get DPS stats on them. Now for slot four, will. Uh, Pretty much all the all the all of them are good. So crit rate can be very good. It can be good for uh, uh, DPS uh, for Verdahal for a very like a very speedy will for slot crit rate rune can be very good for Verdahal for Varus uh, for anything that you might want to have you know good crit and you don't care that much about its damage but you care more about its survivability and like getting more turns. I can imagine a Mimir, a, a light barbaric king, having a will crit rate rune, and just going off that after that afterwards. He, you don't care that much about his damage, but if he has very good speed and reliable, consistent damage, with some good crit damage subs, he can do a lot of uh, hurt. He can deliver a lot of hurt. So crit rate is not a bad uh, uh, option. Uh, make sure you get speed on it. Lots of speed. Crit damage is uh, the same as pretty much every other crit damage rune. You want speed and crit rate and attack. This rune, for example, I will probably either switch accuracy or HP out for speed at some point. That's why I've kept this, because it has crit rate, has good attack. And depending on the monster I put it on, if it cares about accuracy, I'm going to keep accuracy. If it doesn't, I'm going to remove it. Uh, this is pretty much a perfect will dps uh rune i switched the hp in because it had all the other stats right so it's pretty good this this is pretty much what you want for a will crit damage rune um for uh hp and defense they are very good like uh will hp it's pretty much the same situation as slot 2 you want tanky stats I don't know if I have any right now. Oh, there we go. This is one. This one does not have tanky stats, unfortunately. But it has accuracy, so I have it on Jubel, who doesn't get accuracy on Awakening. I don't know. Do I have any other will HP? I definitely have some will 
uh, defense and it's right here for example because it has good speed that's why I've kept it as we said speed is king uh, if this had gone worse uh, if this had gone like double in the first stat but which is now gemmed I would have probably sold it like defense on slot 4 very hard to make use of if it doesn't have good subs slot, uh, HP though you could again run it pretty much everywhere, like from Praha to uh, uh, Veromos. So, do keep your will HP ones. Focus on defense and speed. Uh, depending on the monster, you might not need as much speed, but you definitely need. Uh, you definitely want the defense either or either way. So, yeah, and that's about it for slot four. For slot six now, attack is exactly the same as slot two was. So I'm not going to go over that again. HP is exactly the HP and defense are exactly the same as uh, slot um, four. So you see that my Velas here has an HP rune, speed and defense. My Ryan here has an HP rune, speed and uh, uh, flat HP and resistance. Uh, my Darien has one, sp sp some speed, defense and uh, HP. It's the it's the same thing all the all, all over. See, like defense, it has good speed, so I kept it. I might I could put input some HP later on maybe. Um, I've kept this resistance one. I don't know why. I keep find trying to find situations to put it on Tiana, but I always get better runes. So I guess it's my lucky charm. It's not bad. It has eleven speed. So. Um. Yeah, so accuracy as well on will, I wouldn't really recommend it unless it again it has like accuracy on will is actually a very good slot for Orion and uh, Bernard, both of which need the accuracy and if it has good speed on it, and they both would benefit from will sets like my Orion does for example. So don't be uh, if it does have if an if an accuracy rune five star or six star will drops and it has speed on it. Do not hesitate to use the, that little mana that we'll need to upgrade it to see if it gets that speed because it might be a very good... Uh, even if it downgrades your Bernard speed a little bit or your Orion's, it might be worth it to get the will set on. And, you know, what, the, what, that, what that will do is, yes, maybe you will be outsped by a few more Bernards, but if you tune your AO right and you make your uh, AO all will, even if you get outsped, you might be able to weather the storm and kill them afterwards. So, yeah. I hope this uh, video helped. Once again, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I think I went over this, the necro sets. Uh, I will be... There, will, there are timestamps in the bottom. Or, like, if you're watching this as soon as I posted it, I haven't gone over them yet. I will make the timestamp time stamp comments comment as usual uh, as I said in my uh, update my channel update I'm back uh, thank you for having me back and uh, yeah hope this helped we're gonna do next week is gonna be the the grindstones uh, the how to pick grindstones and once I'm back from my Easter holidays yes Orthodox Easter is later than the Catholic one we haven't had ours yet uh, once I get back from Easter, I'm going to make a more newbie version. Don't be offended, newbies. <laughs> a more newbie version of the how to pick runes for like you know starting starters players. Like what what runes do and how they will help you. Which ones you should keep, which ones you shouldn't keep, etc., etc. But now this, these were for people who have max rune inventories and are late game and are ready to move to the next level. No, the other the other series will be for more for newer players. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.